we have the ones with two tires and the ones with four tires. Of course, the one with two tires is a lot smaller. That's called a dirt, which is disaster initial response trailer. Um, that's what we'll be talking about today. These trailers have cots and blankets in them, where the big trailers have all sorts of feeding equipment from Cambros to uh, clamshells and silverware and everything else. Um, so with the small trailer, that can be towed by any one of the uh, SUVs that we have in Farmington or the pickup truck. Um, what we do first is set this, this trailer up. This is the smaller SUV. That has a plate that we have to take off in order to expose the tube for the, uh, the trailer. What you do is there's two thumb screws down at the bottom, turn those 90 degrees, and then you yank, and it's off. Uh, this is the bar that we're talking about. Now, the next thing to do is to, of course, slide the, the bar with the ball in, inside the trailer. The compartment over here holds the trailer hitch for the dirt. And that's right here. That's this trailer hitch. Only has one ball, and that ball's two inches in diameter. The larger trailers take a two and fifteen sixteenths ball. If we go over here to the to the three-way ball uh, hitch, this has three different balls on it. The medium one is the two-inch ball, which is, which is for the dirt, and this one is two and five sixteenths for the big trailer. And I. Just, that we leave on the CG-10, which is an expedition, and which can pull a heavier trailer. So we go back here to the, the other SUV, and we have a bar that has to go in the slot, along with the locking pin. We slide that in. We line up the holes. Of the locking pin in like that. Now we've, we've gone about as far as we can with the, the vehicle. Now we go over here to the uh, trailer itself and uh, we remove the lock, the hitch lock, uh, first. We take this locking pin out, open the lever. We put the key, and the key incidentally can be found right inside the back door of the trailer on the side wall. It's usually hanging up there. So now we unlock the lock, remove the spider, <laughs> and stow the lock over here. Uh, next thing we do, we have to back up the vehicle under here, under the receptacle and then lower the trailer uh, onto the ball. Uh, in order to do that, we use this, this jack, this dedicated jack, to raise and lower the trailer. This jack is one of the types we use. When you get it up off the ground, you swivel it 90 degrees after you release the locking pin, and then make sure it's locked in a hole after you swivel. Uh, it's Critically important when you engage the, uh, the jack again to lift the, the trailer up and disconnect it, that this is really in the hole. There's a lot of injuries are sustained by people that don't put this pin in the hole. You get the trailer up and all of a sudden the whole thing will collapse. Now you got a problem. How are you going to lift up the trailer and how, how are you going to repair your leg that it fell on? Uh, so we're, we're going to back this up now. Okay, now we're going to lower the uh, receptacle onto the ball by cranking this down. Okay, now we 
we've lifted the jack off the ground, and I'm going to pull the pin and rotate it until we line up with a hole. Ah, we heard the click, that means it's locked. With the It's not perfectly fitted. What I have to do is pull it forward about it, maybe an inch and a half in, so it, it seats properly. So I'll remove the wheel cut. We'll see if we can move this up just a little. Locked, we've closed the, the latch and we'll put a safety pin in it just to make sure it doesn't slip out. Now after that we have two chains. These chains are safety devices. Two safety chains in the event that the trailer hitch somehow departs from the vehicle. This trailer won't go galloping down the highway on its own aiming for some car. Instead, these chains will be dragging it. The chains are, one chain is on the left side, one chain is on the right side. What you have to do is crisscross them into the hooks. Into and now you've, you've hooked up your safety device. The next item is the, you want to supply electricity to the tail lights and the directional signals on the trailer. So this is the plug and this is the socket. Plug it in. And make sure it gets all the way in. Otherwise you won't have enough electricity to run the uh, run the tail lights. Now what we do is test the lights to make sure they work. So we turn the ignition on. And it's not working. It's not working. We test the tail light. Turn the ignition on. Try for the left one first. Is it working? <laughs> yep, we're good on the left one. We're good on the right one. And the brakes are good too. Okay. The only thing that's different is over here. Uh, on CT10, there's a switch. Um, ready? On CT10, uh, we have an extra fe feature in the transmission. It's built for heavier trailers, so the transmission actually helps the the vehicle and the trailer stop in the event of an emergency. Uh, how you activate that is you push the button right here on the side of the shift lever and you'll notice on the dashboard it now says tow haul, or oh, it did say tow haul. Gosh. There it is, tow hole. Wasn't as perfect as we'd like. <laughs> but that's, that completes the whole thing as far as setting up a small trailer.